flying biscuits. Um, I just wanted to go over how to put these brakes, uh, brake bas brackets on for the 11 inch uh, rotors in the back. These are for the rear. So basically in the last video, I showed you how to put the rear end in. Uh, I didn't say anything about the axles. So you leave the axles out because of this part. So you have, so if you can see that, you got one circular ring that this comes in. Uh, it's complete circle. It's the only one that's completely a nice circle. So that goes on first. Then you slide your axle in, butt it up. Okay, so now the only one, it's hard to see, but basically the rear, the bottom one, and the kit that you get from Summit, this is the only part, the only bolt you're going to need. All the rest come in this other kit that you buy separately. Or the worst one I got. So there's that circular thing. Then your axle flange to the axle, and then your actual like flange that goes and then bolts through. Now, then this part, obviously you can kind of see it, but there's a better picture. So all the rest of these come in the kit. You want the flat part on top, flat part to match, circular part. There you go. Now, then you're going to put, then you put all that in there and only bolt up the bottom part. Now the, now you put this one on and it's easier for you to just put this together with this bracket. So you're going to put, so, and this one's a universal kit. So you got. Well, let me back up. Okay, so you got a spacer, 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 spacer. And then in the holes, these don't matter, obviously. When you're putting it through the axle itself, you're going to miss the first hole. This is from, this is the front of the car. Front of the car, rear of the car. So in the front of the car, you got miss one bolt, put the, or one hole, put the bolt in. Miss a hole, put the bolt in. Then on the other side, miss a bolt, uh, put a bolt in, miss a bolt, put a bolt in. And those will go straight through. These go straight through the axle. These go straight through the bracket. These did not come painted. I painted them. Obviously, they're already scuffed, so it don't even matter. But would recommend, like, power cutting them or something, but I just didn't get that. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. And then I'll show you the rest of it in a sec. Okay, so now you got... The piston, and then you obviously want to make sure it's it's down. Then this spring that comes in there, and it wraps around. It goes through the bottom, and it was kind of a pain. Then it goes around. And it just, all it is is to hold. This in. There we go. And this side fits perfectly right here. And then um, when you're doing it, the way you know which side goes what is the hole. This weeble, like when you're breathing, bleeding your brakes and stuff, the bleeder's going to be on top. Because if it's on the bottom, you can't ever get the air out. So, uh, but yeah. And then you'll need these bolts that come in the kit. And it'll require a CVR 3 8 And then I'll show you with them on. Okay, and then um, obviously this is already getting rusty because it's been set, but uh, and I might come back and spray that or whatever with some, sh some spray, but basically. Rotate it until it matches. <laughs> there we go. And what you could do is. these on I would say put a spacer on there but or not a spacer area yeah. washer so it doesn't go right through the hole but whatever this is just so the bracket the rotor stays flush vertically doesn't move 
Now, let's try this again. Okay. Now, gonna fit. Whoops. Okay, let me see. You gotta fit this through the back. Through. ever so you go through and you keep screwing it in and turn for now Okay, so what you're gonna notice is gonna be just like that. The only thing you might have to adjust is this bushing that goes in between this and this. Which is not very clear. But anyway, there's a bushing right there. But yeah, there you go. And then obviously hooking up the uh, lines and stuff, which I'll do later. But that's how you get it on.